Well, good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm out here for an early morning photo shoot and I was hoping to see the, the northern lights. So when I woke up this morning, I looked out of the window and it was a clear sky. I could see the stars. So I had my breakfast and, and I rushed here to this location. And uh, well, I'm really, really disappointed. The whole sky is covered in clouds and I'm not sure what I did wrong. <laughs> How did I not see this coming? So I'm really disappointed. <laughs> I don't want to complain and all that, but today I'm really, really disappointed. Ah, oh, so I need clear skies, right? <laughs> to see the, the northern lights. So, uh, no, this is a complete disaster. So how can I turn this around? I mean, I need some sort of a miracle to turn this around. To make it a positive photo shoot. So I'm gonna stay out here, even though it's like, it must be two hours until sunrise. When, with all these clouds, will I ever see a sunrise? I'm not really sure about that. But I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna try and turn this around and make it a positive video after all. As you can see here behind me, the sun is rising and the sky is turning really deep red. So that's really nice. I'm starting to feel a little bit more positive about this morning. But I can't really take any landscape shots from this bird spotting tower. So I'm gonna change my position just further out on this peninsula. So yeah, let's go out there and see if I can find a nice composition for this morning. Wow, spectacular colors in the in the sunrise. And as usual, I've been running around like a headless chicken looking for compositions. And when has that ever worked? <laughs> Not for me, never worked. I've been flat on the ground with my tripod really low and tried to photograph some uh, lonely trees. But it looks like snapshots. The foreground is too busy. The middle ground is too busy, it looks like snapshots, so I didn't succeed with that. So here's a really good tip, and I think I've mentioned this before. If the ground landscape is too overwhelming and you can't find anything interesting, go smaller, <laughs> I mean tighter, look for intimate landscape scenes. So that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm just shooting sort of an abstract shot of this tree, zoomed in 50 millimeters, and it has a really cool graduation of colors with red in the bottom and this blue and lighter blue. So this, to my eyes, looks really nice. I'm really happy I found this composition. And uh, I'm at half a second, F11, ISO 64. Two seconds help timer. Ah, finally a really nice shot in the bag. And I'm gonna keep looking because the Sun rises at winter is really slow, so the colors might last for another 20 or 30 minutes. Anyway, here's the shot. Oh, I had a really frustrating start of this photo shoot when I couldn't see the northern lights. But it turned out to be a real nice photo shoot. So much beautiful colors. And the sky is still pink and purple. Really nice. And I'm gonna take one last image on this location before I move on. With my 7200 I'm gonna photograph that island in between the two other islands. Just a handheld shot at 105 millimeters. Ah yeah, so much beautiful colors. Here we go. Beautiful. And just as my most recent video, I'm gonna go and have a look at some birds. There's a lot of active bird feeding stations out there. Because, well, Swedes love to feed the birds in winter. 
So I hope you tag along and let's go and see uh, some birds. Really nice, there's a lot of birds here. And they are so used to humans or <laughs> people sitting on this bench just watching them, so um, they aren't that afraid. They're used to humans. So this is a really nice place to just sit and take some pictures. The birds get food and I get pictures. <laughs> the light isn't really favorable for a bird photography it's really dark and I want different lights for bird photography but still it's really nice to sit there and just watch them and get some video clips of them Okay guys, this is the end of the video and I really hope you enjoyed it and I'm super happy you tuned into my channel this week and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.